Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we explored more of the Alabaster Icelands, following Sabi everywhere until we finally got up here to the top of the mountain or the uh, tower, whatever it is. This is the Snow Point Temple, and we were able to earn the trust of Braviary. So our fifth and final, I think? Yeah, I think this will be our fifth and final one. Um, but we can fly with it, look at this, whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. It's not really flying as much as gliding. But I don't know, we actually, we don't descend on our own. We can just sit here. That's so cool. So we can get Braviary to dive as well. This is awesome. So I wonder what if I just, oh my. <laughs> That's a little bit of a scary move. So we can like properly dive as well as just dash. Wow. It looks like that once we start diving though, we can't go back up. Okay, so let's do this, and maybe once I'm closer to the ground. Okay, okay, that worked. Because, of course, right now, our goal is to... Oh my. There you go. Our goal right now is to glide with Braviary to land atop Avalog's legacy to and obtain a piece of the Eternal Ice. So we're finally here. All my Pokemon are beat up, so I'm hoping I don't need them for this. Oh, we're getting a call. Your arc phone is beeping. I guess this is what we need then. You obtained a piece of eternal ice. A type of ice beloved by the Lord of the Tundra, Avalug. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalug that lived long ago. <laughs> oh, it's Garrick. At last, this summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Well, hopefully to save everyone from frenzied Pokemon. You gave Garrick the eternal ice. I do have respect the uh, the effort, or I do have to respect the effort you've put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparation so that you can face my Lord Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. I'm on it. Well, first I need to heal, but then we'll go for it. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat of you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet. Oh my. He's just gonna jump off the side. Make your way to Ice Peak Arena. So we won't follow him in his choice to jump off like that. Instead, where do we have to go exactly? Over here? That's a new request. This right here. So I guess maybe this one would be the easiest one to go to and then heal up, and then we'll go for it. Okay, so everybody, get a good rest in. And then we're back at it. So I wonder, yeah, we could just fly up in the sky at any moment with Braviary, and that leaves so much more to explore. Like, not only is it easier to get to places, but hopefully as we move forward, there are sometimes Pokemon out in the sky that we've seen. I don't know if that hurts if I land from that distance. But one thing I needed to do while we're here with the uh, Peruglies, I needed to defeat them. And I'm hoping that while I'm feeding them, I can maybe catch a couple. Okay. Will that count as a catch? It will. So that's our first one ca caught. We have another over here. Oh, sorry for donking yet. You didn't like that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're running. We're running. I'm out of here, see ya. <laughs> Luckily, it's easier than ever to run away. Well, Pokemon, that was another Perugly. Go. Where'd you go? I just wanna toss that over if I can. Ah, uh, that, I don't know if that's gonna reach ya. Oh, ah, you scared me. Okay, you did notice. And then toss that. Oh, darn, wrong one. Gotcha. Okay, well hopefully that works. Okay, two of two. Getting somewhere, that was a level 49 Perugly as well. Oh, did you see me? Maybe you did. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I guess we're fighting. Sorry, I didn't mean to fight you. It's Stantler, actually, you're pretty, okay, yeah, Stantler ran away, but you were pretty high level, so I didn't want to mess with that too much. Either way, it's just so easy to just fly over like this. Oh, and here we are. Hello. 
Those are some Machoke walking around. Why, if it isn't Zebra. What a pleasure, finding a familiar face, or many face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick in order of swords caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. And why wouldn't she be? So, Avalug, yes, the fifth of his Swiss nobles? That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too ta powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalug of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now, to the arena. You okay? Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalug, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Okay, so quell the frenzy of Avalug, Lord of the Tundra at Ice Peak Arena. Okay, so where would that be? Where would this way? It's just so easy to fly to everything now. I thought the game's in easy mode. But there we go, so I guess this is not gonna be easy. <laughs> it's gonna be scary going against Avalug, but I'll do everything I can. Okay, so what about these Pokemon? Do I have this one yet? I mean, I, I have it, but do I have the level 10 for it is what I'm wondering. It's not showing me for some reason. You know, I'm right here and then I, Click the wrong button, maybe I'll catch it, maybe I won't. Okay, we got it. That was a Bergmite. So let's take a quick look. Um, go, go, go. Bergmite, research level four. But with, we have five tasks with unreported data. So I guess we have nine in total. So if we could defeat one more, that would be good. Maybe that's something Monferno can do. I didn't see, whoa, that's that's an alpha Pokemon. Don't wanna mess with that. Let's see if I can just fight you with this. That didn't work. So confused. Why? Okay, that worked. I guess I was just too far away. It's so cute though. Level 34 Bird Might, so we're actually at a perfect spot for this. We'll try Fire Punch, super effective. We don't have the uh, thing for it just yet. Oh, there we go. So that should be enough to get it to level 10, which is all I really wanted. So we are going to go back to flying. We're almost there. Okay, I made it. So, we are to quell Avalug as he wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among the people in Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that internal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. Okay. He's strong and a master chef, apparently. He's made some bombs real fast, and there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalog will, will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. Oh man, so our final Lord Avalog might be the most dangerous one yet. Oh no. Whole ground is shaking. Oh my goodness, it's huge! Wow! <laughs> Lord of the Tundra Avalug! Okay, I know it was big, but this is this is a lot more big than big. This is humongous. What are we gonna do about this thing? I guess just toss some bombs. Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta dodge into it. They're so bright, it's honestly sorta of hard to tell where they are. We need, ow, quite the throwing arm too. Alrighty, dodge. 
Dodge again. I'm dodging too soon, unfortunately. Okay. Right here. Go for it. Throw it right in its mouth. Hopefully it likes that. Wow. Uh. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Whoa. Okay. I wasn't ready for that one. Dodge. I can't. Oh, we are in big danger here. Okay, I cannot take too much more damage already. Okay. Send in a Pokemon to fight. I guess we'll do Inferno. It's a little low level, but it has the fire type moves that we need. So let's go for it. Here's your chance to have a look your power. All right, Monferno, go for a fire punch. I mean, it's not really even a nice type, is it? I don't know, Avalug? Uh, I guess, I mean, it would have to be a nice type, right? Oh, gosh. Okay, it was Hurt Bites Burns, so that's pretty good. Um, we could just try some electric type stuff, but we do have some super effective stuff with Floatzel. So we're gonna try Floatzel, even though Floatzel's at half health, maybe we'll just get a big hit in. If it makes a difference, it makes a difference. Um, fight. 85, 60, so we'll do strong style with the 85 damage. Hopefully it makes a big enough hit to do something. Ooh, that was good. Agile style from Avalog though. Oh my. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. Problem is Avalog gets to attack twice here, right? With a burn, earth power. Now earth power is a lot scarier, yeah. But if we could just get one more hit in, probably just with Bast, or Bast, I'm getting that big so much Shining Pearl, with uh, Luxray, which I named Bast in that. Yeah, sure, let's go for it, because I don't see anything else that's super effective. Well, actually, Decidueye has everything that's super effective. What typing is it? I'm not really sure. Maybe this is Grass Ground, or, not, or Ice Ground. Um, so what's the most damaging we have out of this? Uh, we could do Energy Ball or Aura Sphere. Let's do Strong Style Aura Sphere. Come on, finish off Avalug. We still have more we have to do after this, I think, but. Okay, now's your chance to throw those over. Come on, keep going, keep going. It's so huge. Now I gotta remember, I still don't have any health left. So I just need to be exceedingly careful and really pay attention to where these, ah, oh, I got me. They're just so bright. I don't know if it's something wrong with my screen, but this, everything is so bright, it's sort of hard to tell where it is. Everything went black. Battling Avalug. While Avalug's barrage of attacks is ongoing, concentrate on dodging and wait for your chance to strike back. The powerful beam that Avalug launches from his maw can be evaded with the Y button if you use a brief window of invulnerability to dodge straight through it. That's what I was trying. Let's attempt the battle again but it was just so hard to see because of how bright it is. Okay. The good news is that I was often dodging too soon, which means, oh, come on, that one was just me dodging the wrong direction. I often have more time than I would think. There we go. So focus more on throwing stuff. But I think Digi Decidueye is gonna be our main Pokemon to throw out this time. Oh man, I didn't even see it. Didn't even see it. With the health you lose in this, you don't gain back. So, ow, any hit that you take. Okay. I think this is a slow and steady wins a race in some way. Gotcha. Okay, we're past the first quarter of health then. So then a Pokemon, Decidueye it is. So our, our Pokemon are back, so that's good. But we're going to start with some pretty big moves here. Oh, sorry, I'm standing on top of you. Fight. Let's do an Energy Ball. Not an Agile Style, but that's gonna be a one hit. Beautiful. Okay, keep going. I wanna throw it, I think, at the closest point, if we can. Because I think we can only throw one at a time, so the quicker it gets like, it, the quicker it lands, the sooner we can throw another one. Okay, you're gonna throw these fireballs out again. Got it. Okay, good stuff. Ah, oh, darn. It hasn't beeped at me yet, so I'm pretty sure, you know, we still have at least one more hit. 
We're almost through another chunk of health here. Oh, oh man, I always don't realize with that one, I can't even see what's happening. Ah, oh, and that's gonna take us out. Okay, when he opens his mouth real wide like that, I need to stop throwing them and back up because he's about to do something big. Okay, this time I'm doing a little bit better. I only took one hit of damage so far. Okay, we're ready for this. We, we've done this one enough times. I can just do that. I can throw at least one. Typically two, if the camera's not being weird. Okay. I missed one of those, unfortunately. And while it's switching to the next attack, yeah, I can usually throw a couple. Oh my. Okay, so I see how this works now. <laughs> no time for attacking, we just need to dodge. And we got it. So I don't know how far we can really throw from. Ah, I did not realize that's what was heading towards me. Ah, that's not fair. Okay, come on. Oh no, 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 not again. This thing is so tough, it is crazy. Come on, I'm almost done now. Dodge. Get to that last quarter. Forget to throw out our Pokemon again. There we go. Throw out to UI. Did that land? That's it. Okay. And just throw another one of those out. We'll be fine. Fight. Energy ball. Go. And that should be enough to get rid of all of your health. Then we start throwing. Come on. If we can just get it down. This is our chance. Got it. Wow! Third time's the charm, I guess. What a difficult fight. One last bomb to finish you off. And I think we did it. Jeez, the others were tough, but this one doesn't even compare. And a ton of experience for everyone, very nice. Okay, Avalog's looking a lot nicer now. <laughs> hey, buddy. Feeling okay? You received the Icicle Plate from Avalog. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of ice. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the ice type. So it is a nice type Pokemon. I didn't realize that grass was good against ice. So we've done it. Uh, every Lord has been quelled. Garrick, sir, you didn't look quite so downcast. But seeing my mighty Avalug quelled and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this zebra boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Zebra, Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all of his heart and he believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us at getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Yurida? I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Zebra has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Zebra. Thank you. You quelled the very last Frenzy Noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's a little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller, somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be all right as long as we've got Zebra. Indeed we should be. It's good to have him at our side. Thank you. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't that bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Commodo a visit and see if he'll finally crack a, crack a smile for us. 
Yeah, I hope so. All right. Report to Commander Kamado that you found, you've com com accomplished your mission. All right, we'll talk to everyone before we leave. You quote Avalug. We may not know yet for sure if it was the right, right or not to do so, but it was certainly a fine battle. I agree. It was very intense. Anyway, now that we've cleared the, cleared, quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit to see if you'll find a crack a smile for us. What are you going to do now that all the nobles have been quelled, Zebra? I guess Kamado will tell us. He always has something for us to do. Seeing you take on Avalog was intense, even from up in the sky where I was watching. So I guess she was watching from up above. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to fly back to Snowfield's camp. It doesn't really matter which camp we go to. We just need to go to the camp so that we can go back home. 15 Pokemon have been caught on our little adventure here. Quite a few new ones too. A different species caught 10. Five of them for the first time. Not too bad. We got some new observations. Anything to level 10. So Baneri, we still need to get the level 10. We're almost there though. If I can, uh, let's see, defeat one of them. I've never defeated one apparently. We have Luxray getting the level 10, but that's been the case for all. Perugly is almost level 10. We just need to either catch two more. We can catch two more. We can catch two more without being spotted. If we can do both of those at once, it'd be great. Uh, Sneasel is level three, so we have a while for that. Chimchar was, was getting there, but we evolved Chimchar. What about Monferno? What can we do for Monferno? We're not catching anymore, at least for right now, but we can keep using either Flame or Flamethrower. That'd be nice. I wish I could give it food, but that's not really how it works. I need to give a wild one food. So I think those two, the moves, are probably what I'm gonna wanna focus on. Bergmite got the level 10 though. So let's read the description for Bergmite. Lives on mountains blanketed in perennial snow. It freezes water vapor in the air to make the ice helmet that it dons for defense. Very cool. Then for the rest of these, we're pretty far off, but we'll keep working on it in time. We do get more points. We're not quite there for six stars, but we'll keep chipping away at it. Mm -hmm. You managed to quell World Avalog? Fantastic stuff. As always, I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report. To the village. Exactly where I wanted to go. See, I really don't know what's next. Maybe we can just climb that mountain that has the vortex and just try to hop back in. Jubilee Village. Oh, it's looking so bright and happy here after the cold and unforgiving snow. I definitely appreciate it. Maybe we could talk to the rest of these people later. I'm sure there's some side quests waiting around, but for right now, focusing all in on the main quest. Okay, well, there is that. Like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up later. We have all the time in the world later on, but for right now, I just want to get to the third floor. All right, Commander Kamado, I've made it. We did it. Each of the new Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell upon us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end and to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored by normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. I feel like this is foreshadowing. <laughs> Go nourish yourself with the wallflower. Allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Slumbering Lord of the Tundra complete. So what lies ahead of us is a little unclear, but I know in general, we still can just help out the town. But right now is potato mochi time. Thanks for this nice sizable help in a potato mochi banning old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. I think all he makes is potato mochi. <laughs> Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time we focus on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around the regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalug needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment if Zebra hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. 
I still wonder though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Zebra stranded here? As far as I see it, this might be our new home now. Why would we have to go back? I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Zebra. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on, nothing less than a completed Pokedex. That's right, we'll get it done, with Zebra in the, in the lead, and me as the Valiant Assistant. Assistant? Come now, Akari, don't sell yourself short, you're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps too. Of course you are. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. I agree. Car is a very welcome member. So with bellies full, we go to bed. Bakum! Oh no! <laughs> what does that mean? When you hear a big bakuum at the middle of the night, it's never a good sign. Disaster looming. Guiding now active. So what in the world could that have been? Disaster looming. Go outside and see what's happening. Oh no. We have no time to waste. Oh no. What is in the sky? Zebra. The rift is getting bigger. A lot bigger. I'm very concerned. I think maybe, what if it wasn't a good idea to quell all those lords? Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Uh, okay. Hmm. The way the sky has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There's a more pressing concern that here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck the night that Zebra fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Zebra? Well, zebras are mammals. They have four hooves. They're striped. Uh, a Survey Corps member as well? Indeed, you've done all I ordered. But that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to the fr these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is you, it you really, you're really after here? Nothing. Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Zebra has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it'd take to make all this happen? Oh, I thought that was, okay. <laughs> Read the wrong person's voice, it's fine. Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? The person, this person, this stranger appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's, no one can do that. You're asking to prove, an, prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Zebra supposed to do then? 
you'll be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky, and so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team. Oh no. That's so sad though, we worked so hard to be a part of it and they're kicking us out. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Zebra? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Okay, well luckily we're allowed to leave in one piece. But we have to say goodbye to all the friends we've made. You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Orders are orders. Let's go. Goodbye, guys. This way. This is so sad. Oh, I can move. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. Sorry, guys. I gotta go. I can't even talk to them. Well, this is goodbye then. This feels so awful. What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna stay? I don't even know where to begin stopping the rift. We're just one person after all. Can it really be true? Cause yeah, sure, there's a bad coincidence and we can't really prove our innocence, but we've tried just as much as anyone could to help stop it. We've proved our innocence just as much as anyone could prove anything. We can take it from here, man. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village on and to the Fieldlands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. I mean, at least we have them by our sides. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Zebra more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. That's true. Please look after yourself. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Irida might take you in? Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try go to, to go find Lian first. He's likely at the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there, that's an order. I will ensure that you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. Very well put by Silene, I agree. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach the, to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Well, I will keep at it then. <laughs> So I can talk to them a little bit more if 
I might offer my advice. Yeah, okay, so they're gonna say the same thing. I really do appreciate that advice, that's very well put. So I guess that's it then. Perhaps you could go try to find Leanne first. Yeah, he's at the Grand Rio Arena. We'll head to Leanne and see if we can't get any help from them. But for right now, things aren't looking so good. So hopefully we'll be able to make it better one way or another. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.